What's up ladies and gents, we're back with a new team. We've got Albedo on our team because he has a little thing that's going to help our guy Mika. And that thing is his burst. So what happens after, you know, you deal his burst, you get this nice elemental mastery boost for all of your nearby party members. Now, if I remember correctly, Yai Miko is pretty nearby. Now, because of this, I want to know how much it affects Yai Miko in terms of viability. Of course, it will work. This will help Yai Miko get at least a 15% boost on her E skill. But is it viable? Can we really use it? So we're going to use this team. We're going to use Yai Miko. We're going to use Fischl. We're going to use Albedo and Diona. Now, I have a C6 Diona, and if we use her ultimate ability, we get 200 more elemental mastery when HP is above 50%. So, if we do this correctly, we can get a nice boost in our elemental mastery, and seeing like it's around 340, so I don't know, around 400. I think we'll get around 400 elemental mastery. So, let's uh, go ahead and see. Here we go. We've got all our ultimates up and let's try it out now i think what we want to do is actually just use albedo we're gonna use albedo burst instant and then we're gonna use diona burst and then we're gonna use this all right first i want to check we have 367 elemental mastery and i'm pretty sure i got diona's buff which is pretty nice yeah we have 367 elemental mastery that is quite the buff. That is quite the boost. So if my math is correct, we get around 55% boost, right? I think. Because if we get like 100, that's 15. 200, that's 30. 300, that's 45. So maybe like 55 here. Uh, let's just see how much damage this does. We're gonna wait for his shield to go away. We can use Albedo to sort of get rid of it. Alrighty, we've got both bursts back. I'm gonna try this out. Okay, dodge that. Boom. And then, boom. And now I think we have the, yeah, we have 367. Let's see how much it does. It's doing, it's not critting, 5,957. You know what? That's not too bad. You sh and then it goes down to 4,500 without the buff. Now, instead of having both of these team members, you know, giving a mental mastery, we're going to have one Bennett. All right, we're going to have one Bennett. And let's see the damage difference with Albedo's burst as well as Bennett's burst. Okay, we use this. We can use the burst. Now we should have Elemental Mastery being transferred. And then we use our E skill. And yeah, we do have the buff. Now I have 15% on the boost. And we get 7,830 per attack. Okay, before I kill him, let me... All right, currently Yag does not have the Albedo buff. So only, we're only using the Bennett here. And see the damage difference being dealt. 6,900. Okay, I mean, that's not a bad boost, you know, if you'd like put it together. Alright, now we're going to try Albedo's boost without Bennett. I'm going to do that. And now we should have a 15% increase, which is 5,000. I mean, it's definitely not the Bennett buff. But as you guys can see, the Elemental Mastery, I mean, if you like stack on Elemental Mastery, it could actually be really good for as a sub DPS. But... It only, I don't think it's that big of a difference in terms of, you know, support capabilities. So yeah, maybe just have a Bennett instead. That would be much better. You know, Albedo, very, very niche. So I wouldn't uh, exactly recommend having them in your team. All right, so I wanted to just use a maximum amount of Elemental Mastery for my Yai Miko. However, there is a single problem. Now, I want to use Sukuro so I can transfer the Elemental Mastery, but at the same time, she is C6. So she'll always have a 20% elemental damage bonus increase in her thing. What I could do is remove this on our Yaimiko and maybe potentially use an attack one instead. All right, using the attack one, this will have our Yaimiko be just about 20% for our electro damage bonus. All right, our Yaimiko will now use the Witsis. So our attack is going to look like this, 2073. Our crit rate crit damage ratio looks like this. Doesn't look too bad. And our weapon is the, the passive right here. We have a chance of getting an extra of 360 elemental mastery. And that's what I'm going to try to score here. So we currently have 80 elemental mastery on our Yai Miko. So we put on top of that the 360 from the interlude thing from the passive from the Witset. So that's 440. On top of that, we get 100 from Sucrose. So that's 540 on top of that. On top of that, we get 125 from our albedo. So that's around 665. 
Crypto on top of that, we also get 200 from Diona. So we should have around 885 or 865 in total for our Yaimi Elemental Mastery. All right, let's try one more time. Hopefully we can get the proper, hopefully we get the proper song for the passive. So let's do this. We burst, we use Yai one time, we use your thing, and then Elemental Skill, Elemental Skill, Elemental Skill. And I think, oh, we got attack percentage increase. But you know what? It kind of still works, you know? Kind of does work. <laughs> All right, let's try this one more time. We're going to use Iona. We're going to use Albedo. We're going to use you and Sucrose. I think this should work. We Yeah, we have 978 Elemental Mastery right now. 11,000! <laughs> it were 11,000 ahead. Based only on the Elemental Mastery. That's insane. Pretty much. Oh, that almost destroyed him. See, without it, it's just 4,000. Oh, that's, that's a good buff right there. But yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel as well. It would mean a lot to me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.